Big rocks like this get cut as far as I can through using the nine inch blade, but then you have to break them open with a bolster. I'm very happy I did. Look at that. That's called Starry Jasper. It's like snakeskin jasper, but with green bands as well as some quartz. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's one of my favorites. Hey, g'day. Today I'm doing one of my favorite things when it comes to rocks, and that is cutting them to see what's inside. There's rocks like this. This has uh, speckles of lighter colors that are pity all the way through. So I don't think it's going to be that spectacular, but I'm just interested to see whether those dots, speckles, go all the way through it. There's things like this, which I think is an opalite, a common opal. So most of these look pretty average from the outside, but I'm hoping once I cut them, they'll reveal some really nice patterns. This is something that mate George and I found near Coolgardy recently. Uh, no idea what that is, but uh, should be some nice patterns inside that. The same as this one here. This is a piece of Norina Jasper. I'm expecting good things from that. I won't show you all the rocks I'm going to be cutting. I think there's about 40 I'll be cutting. Uh, I'll just show you a handful here. This is another piece of opalite or common opal. I reckon this will make some nice slabs. I'm just going to slab him down a few times maybe. Got these druzy pockets there, should come up nice. And lastly, for what I'm showing you right now, this one here, now this is very interesting. I've had this for a while, been meaning to cut it for a while, but it has these things here that seem to be some sort of fossilized creature, something. Uh, cutting that will hopefully reveal a bit more of what it actually is. It's quite large, I'll probably cut a few pieces off it. And that's the thing, if I, most of it, I'll just cut it in half, but if I find something interesting, I'll do a few more cuts and see what happens. <laughs> Let's fire up the saw. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. I make videos on all things rock related from collecting to cutting and polishing, along with helpful hints. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing as well as liking, sharing and commenting to help me build my channel. Thank you. Here's all the rocks I'm going to be cutting. It's a real variety. All of these are from Western Australia. Uh, some of them I collected. A few I've bought. All fairly large rocks too. This one here looks like a banded jasper. This one here. Same again, a banded jasper. This here I'm hoping is West Australian Crazy Lace Agate. We'll see. Time to cut some rocks. This is my nine inch saw. I bought it second hand. It's a real steel thing. Each rock takes probably two, three, four, maybe even longer. I think uh, some of the bigger ones took about 10 minutes to get through. But we get there in the end. This is the biggest one. This did take at least 10 minutes. And even then, you don't get all the way through. So what I do is I take a hammer and a bolster so I cut through as much as I could and then crack it down the middle as best I can and check out what we've got. It's a beautiful piece of starry jasper. Nice. This is what I've ended up with after about three hours of cutting, along with some pretty sore thumbs. Pushing them through the saw manually gets a bit rough on the thumbs after a while. It's some okay results and some very good results. I'll start by showing you the okay results. <laughs> uh, actually less than okay. This one's pretty yuck. I thought it was Norena Jasper from the outside, but uh, it's just a red Jasper. I can't see me doing anything with that except chucking in the bin maybe. Um, this one here, a brush here. This is from the Pilbara region. It's actually not too bad. I'm probably a bit harsh by saying it's nothing special. There's some nice uh, rocks making up this brush here. I think it's not too bad. This here is a banded jasper. I expected better uh, looking at the outside, but there's holes in there and there's cracks and stuff, so I'm not going to get much out of that one. 
this here, another band of Jasper. Again, it's sort of, oh, they've got hollow bits in there and you can see how porous it is. Uh, I think that one will end up in the rubbish bin as well. This one here, a bit of opalite, common opal. Uh, yeah, nothing special. It had that green bit on the outside, but <laughs> didn't really continue through very much. It's not horrible, but it's not the best. Now this one here, West Australian Crazy Lace Agate. I was expecting better. It's not bad on the inside, but if you look at it on the outside, there's some beautiful patterns. I just thought they would continue on through. And maybe they had, maybe I missed him with that cut. It's okay, but I expected better. West Australian Crazy Lace Hanger. Now this is a mystery rock from the Coolgardie area in Western Australia. Uh, I've just sort of stumbled across it on the side of the road and, you know, it has some nice patterns, but it's quite porous, quite soft. Not too sure if it'll take a polish. It looks nice though. This one here, also from the Coolgardie area. Um, I don't know, is that a basalt or a granite? I really don't know. But those polka dots did extend all the way through. It was one of the ones I showed at the beginning of the video. So yeah, very happy with the way that continued through. This one here is West Australian Rhyolite, I think. It certainly has the colours, and I look like it from the outside. But normally those pinky beige areas are nice circular patterns. Pretty well circular. So I'm calling it West Australian Rhyolite, I may be wrong. Now this one here again, some opalite. This one has some quite nice patterns. We're starting to get some good stuff now. Uh, if you look at the colours and patterns in this, I really like that. Look at that orange there. Orangey yellow colour. Yeah, happy with him. This one here is some Jelly Bean Jasper. I gave him a Pilbara trip a few months ago. Very nice. Even better close up. There's a lot going on in there. Jelly Bean Jasper. This one here, I think, is Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, there's some odd patterns in here. It's kind of like got ghostly shapes in it if you look long enough. Have a pause and tell me what you think. I can see skeletons and ghosts and all sorts of things. Maybe it's just my sick mind. <laughs> Next up, another mystery rock. So this is from that same place at Coolgardie. Uh, where we've got that sort of soft, porous rock. Again, not, sure, not too sure how it'll polish, but... Oh, I just like that colour, that red running through it. Next up, some more opalite. Starting to show a bit more colour in these ones now, that yellow, green, and white, orange, and deep green. Some nice colours there. Now, snakeskin jasper. There's two types of snakeskin jasper. This is one. The other, um, sort of, it's, it's a brown rock and it looks more like snake skin scales as opposed to this. So two types of snake skin jasper, this is one of them. Quite nice. Another bit of jelly bean jasper from the Pilbara. A lot going on in this one. Very busy. It's a little fractured. But I'm hoping there'll be enough pieces I can get some tumbled stones out of. This one here is some brecciated opalite. Well, that's what I'm calling it. It's definitely opalite. When you hold it, the, the rock feels waxy, um, which opalite does. But it's brecciated, uh, being broken up and then joined back together. Quite nice. This here is a bit of banded jasper. It's nothing special, just I like the colours. Uh, the yellows, the reds, the pinks. It's got a few holes in it as well, so we'll see how well that polishes. Now this is amethyst. Looks like it's been brecciated, broken up and then filled in around with that yellow host. So I've done this before, pieces of this, and it comes out really nice. It might be one of the next batches I do, actually. Now this is praise. A little different to the normal praise in that it's sort of a blue-green rather than a a rich sort of apple green with some nice shapes running through it as well some darker shapes 
that should come up well. Next up, another piece of opalite. This one I found interesting, so he got cut twice. It's all right. It's very similar to that last one, actually. There's little yellow bits floating there in the clear and white. Yeah, it's quite nice. Now this is either Picture Jasper or Outback Jasper. I've been calling it Picture Jasper for years, but now I've started to notice people say this might be Outback Jasper. So yeah, take your pick, I guess. This one here, again, some snakeskin jasper, but look at that color at the bottom. I think it might have just a hint of iron in there, making it that dark. So dark at the bottom, sort of going up through a whole beautiful range of reds and oranges. That's nice, I like it. Some magnesite. I thought magnesite was fairly soft until I cut this rock. Really tough. And some nice patterns as well. It's actually a little bit more greener than what it looks here. It's sort of a lime green. Some more opalite. This one fractured where there was a druzy pocket. So this will look nice as polished slabs, I think. You can see a lot going on there. Crystals, colors, druzy pockets. Nice. This one here is Norena Jasper. Now I cut it one way and thought that's pretty good, but it looked like the pattern was running the other direction, this way. And it sure was. How nice is that? Beautiful colors in Norena Jasper. So yeah, we're improving now, aren't we? This is getting quite special, I think. Next was that big chunk I cut. So this is Starry Jasper. So Starry Jasper is like snakeskin jasper. You can see areas that look like snakeskin jasper. Then it has areas of green gray as well as quartz running through it. That is starry jasper. This one here, a more snakeskin jasper possibly. It's just that color's a bit off to what I'd normally expect snakeskin jasper to be. Sort of a, a darker burgundy rather than a brick red. Very nice. This is some opalite. Some beautifully coloured opalite. Look at that. I really like this one. Some beautiful colours, but again, this will probably be slabbed. I don't know that um, tumble polishing will do much. Uh, now we're getting towards the end. This one here I had no idea. This had the fossil in it. Actually, ended up being brachiated mukite. It's covered in. I don't know what I call it. A calprete or a silprete, I think they call it. But yeah, you can see the brushed bits on the outside there. I have to cut him up in a few more pieces, see what happens. And then lastly, my favourite. This is a piece of West Australian Crazy Lace Agate. So I cut one piece and thought, well, that's nice. But I could sort of see it was getting better as it went along. So I cut another piece. Sure enough, it was even better. Some magnificent patterns in this. Very, very happy. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Also, if you know any friends that might be interested in this sort of stuff, share with them too. Till next time, see ya.